Hello everyone, this is Teacher Jinjin T. Gandeza. Ang video na ito ay tungkol sa factors of difference of two squares. Pero bagong lahat, kailangan familiar muna kayo sa perfect squares. So, ano nga ba ang perfect square? Perfect square or square numbers is the product of some integers with itself. Ibig sabihin, kapag multiply mo ang number sa sarili niya, ang magiging sagot nito ay perfect square. Example, 1 is a perfect square kasi 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 4 is the perfect square since 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 9 is a perfect square since 3 times 3 is equal to 9. At ganun din dito. At ang mga square roots ng perfect squares ay itong mga to. Sa pagkuha ng square root, mag-iisip ka ng number na kapag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, ang magiging result niya ay yung nandito. So, square root of 1 is equal to 1 since 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Square root of 4 is equal to 2 since 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Square root of 9 is equal to 3 since 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Another example is x square. x square ang perfect root, ang square root nito ay x or x raised to 4, ang square root nito ay x raised to 2. So, x square times x square, ang result niya ay x raised to 4. x times x is equal to x square. So, para mas maintindihan ninyo, magbibigay ako ng mga examples and just keep on watching. Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. So, meron tayong quick review muna dito. Ang product ng A plus B and A minus B is equal to A squared minus B squared. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung product of sum and difference of two terms, lalagay ko dito sa taas para mapanood ninyo. Since factoring na tayo, factoring is the reverse process of multiplication. Ibig sabihin, yung A squared minus B squared is equal to A plus B times A minus B. Kung mapapansin ninyo, nabaliktad lang ito dahil nga ang factoring ay reverse process ng multiplication. So, para mas maintindihan ninyo, example, x squared minus 36. Paano natin malalaman kung difference of 2 squares ang gagamitin natin? Malalaman natin kapag perfect square yung first term at kapag perfect square yung second term. At pinaghiwalay ng minus sign. Kaya nga siya difference of 2 squares. So, para makuha yung factor nito, kunin lang natin yung square root ng first term at ng second term. So, ang square root ng x squared ay x. Ang square root ng 36 ay 6. Then, sa pagsulat ng factor nito is equal to parenthesis na dalawa. Then, plus and minus sign. Then, ilagay natin yung nakuha nating perfect square. So, x dito, x din dito. Then, 6 dito, 6 din dito. Then, ganun na. Ganun yung factor ng x squared minus 36. Another example natin, factor 16a squared b squared minus 25c squared. So, sa pag-answer nito, kagaya ng nang sinabi ko kanina, kunin nyo lang yung square root ng first term at ng second term. So, the square root of 16a squared, b squared, ay anong number na kapag multiply mo ay magiging 16? Yun ay 4. Anong variable ang kapag multiply mo ay magiging a squared? Yun ay a. Variable na kapag multiply mo ay magiging b squared? Yun ay b. So, the square root of 16a squared b squared is equal to 4ab. Now, yung second term naman, square root of 25c squared. So, the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of c squared is equal to c. Ngayon, maglagay tayo ng dalawang parenthesis, then plus minus sign, then i-plug in natin yung mga nakuha nating values, so 4ab, then 4ab then, then 5c 5c. So, ganun lang. Another example natin, factor 144r squared minus 100k raised to 6m raised to 4. 
So, ganun pa rin, kunin natin yung square root ng 144 r square. So, the square root of 144 r squared is equal to, the square root of 144 is 12, the square root of r squared is r. Next, the square root of 100, k raised to 6, m raised to 4. Okay, so, kunin muna natin yung square root ng 100, that is 10. Ang square root ng k raised to 6 is equal to k raised to 3. Kailangan master din ninyo yung mga pag-multiply ng mga variables. So, kaya siya naging k raised to 3 dahil k raised to 3 times k raised to 3 is equal to k 3 plus 3. Kasi nga ipla-plus mo yung exponent nila, magiging k raised to 6. So, ang square root ng m raised to 4 is equal to m raised to 2. Okay, so maglagay tayo ng dalawang parenthesis, then plus, minus sign, then plug in the values, 12r, then 12r, next is 10k raised to 3, m raised to 2, 10k raised to 3, m raised to 2. So, ito yung factor ng 144 r square minus 100 k raised to 6 m raised to 4. Another example natin, factor 18 a cube minus 72 a b squared. Kung mapapansin ninyo, hindi ito perfect square. Hindi perfect square yung a cube, hindi rin perfect square yung 72. So, paano natin gagawing difference of the squares? Kung maalala ninyo, sa first video ko sa common monomial factor, i-divide natin to sa greatest common factor nila. Kung hindi pa kayo familiar doon, pwede nyo hanapin sa playlist ng grade 8. So, i-divide natin to ng 18. 18 at ang lowest ay A. So, ilabas natin yung 18A. Then, 18A cubed divided by 18A is equal to a squared minus 72 divided by 18 is equal to 4. Then, A divided by A is mare-reduce. Next, B, B squared. So, kung mapapansin na ninyo, ito ay perfect square na. Perfect square na rin ito. So, ngayon, pwede na natin siyang i-factor gamit ang difference of two squares. Ang gagawin dyan, kopyahin yung nandito sa labas na common monomial factor na 18a. Then, ito naman, kunin natin yung square root. So, ang square root ng a squared ay a. Ang square root naman ng 4b squared ay square root of 4 is 2. Square root of b squared is b. So, magiging... Maglagay ng parenthesis na dalawa, plus, minus. Plug in yung nakuha nating mga principal roots. So, A and A. Then, 2B and 2B. So, ganun ang pagkuha ng mga ganitong cases. Next, magtry tayo ng more complex examples. Factor 243x raised to 4 minus 48y raised to 4. Hindi sila perfect square. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin magagamit yung difference of the squares. So, ano ang gagawin natin dyan? Ang pwede natin gawin dyan ay factor by common monomial factor. So, ang GCF ng 243x raised to 4 and 48y raised to 4 is 3. Take note na hindi lahat ng GCF ay pwede nyong i-divide kapag nagpa-factor kayo ng difference of two squares. For example, 18a minus 32b. Kapag dinivide natin ito ng GCF niya na 18, ang magiging factor niya ay 18 times A minus 2B. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, hindi factorable by difference of 2 squares yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, make sure na yung remaining factor niya ay factorable by difference of 2 squares. So, dito, ang pwede natin i-divide ay 3. So, ilabas muna natin yung 3. Then... 243x raised to 4 divided by 3 is equal to 81x raised to 4. Minus 48y raised to 4 divided by 3 is equal to 16y raised to 4. 
Kung mapapansin ninyo, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis ay factorable na siya by difference of the squares. So, ang gagawin na natin dyan ay kunin na natin yung factor niya na 3 times dalawang parenthesis. So, kunin natin yung square root ng first term. The square root of 81x raised to 4 is equal to 9x raised to 2. Then, the square root of 16y raised to 4 is equal to 4y raised to 2. Then, plus minus sign, ilagay natin yung mga nakuhang values na 9x squared plus 4y squared, 9x squared minus 4y squared. So, ito na yung factor ng 243x raised to 4 minus 48y raised to 4. Uulitin ko, hindi lahat ng GCF ay pwede nyong i-divide sa difference of 2 squares. Kailangan, ang magiging factor niya ay factorable by difference of 2 squares. So, ganun lamang mga anak -shish. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na ito. Kung may mga katanungan kayo or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at share nyo na rin sa mga kaibigan ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!